So from where you stand, notice if your feet are parallel. And parallel means actually the outer edges of your feet are parallel. So your feet might be looking a bit turned inside. Open the palms to the front, and this is called Tadasana, the pose of the mountain. And let's synchronize our breath before we do some sun salutations. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach your arms up. Open the front of your body. Exhale, bend from the hips. And bend your knees if you need, so that you can reach the ground with your fingertips. Inhale, reach the spine long, keeping your fingertips on the ground. Exhale, step back to plank. Hold the plank here. Before we move on, let's move the shoulders five times up and down. Keep the elbows straight. Just push away the chest and then lower down the chest five times. This exercise is also great for those of you who might feel some neck pain because this is really like the shoulder is very connected to the neck. Bend your knees and lower yourself gently down, elbows tucked into your waist. Inhale into a cobra. Let's go up and down three times here. So just draw those shoulder blades back and pull yourself up and down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. You'll find that's a pattern in a lot of the yoga asana. And somebody's calling me, excuse me. Inhale, and then the next exhale, lift your butt back through all fours. Straighten up to a down dog. Remember, you can have bent legs here. So feel free to walk a little bit, that can be a nice way to get into the stretch, stretching one leg at a time. Grab the floor with your fingertips. Take some deep breaths. Look to your hands, step or jump forward. And exhale, just release the back side of your body, let go. Inhale, reach to the sky with your arms. Exhale, bring them down. Number two, inhale, lift up your arms. Exhale, fold from the hips. Inhale, reach the spine long. Exhale, go down to the plank. So on your knees, if you want, let's do three push-ups just to get into that uh, strengthening. Draw the shoulder blades together. And then you can lie down, inhale into a cobra, exhale, downward facing dog. Reach your heels towards the ground, grab the floor with your fingertips, soften your jaw and your eyes and breathe deeply. Look to your hands, step or jump forward. Exhale, fold forward. Reach to the sky. Exhale, take down the arms. Inhale, number three. Reach up. Fold forward. Time this to your own breathing. Reach up. Inhale. Exhaling to plank. So, if I'm too fast or too slow for you, don't worry. Lower yourself down on a long exhale. Inhale up, reaching the chest forward and up. And downward facing dog, finishing the vinyasa in down dog. Three breaths. So we're activating our hands into the ground, reaching the heels down. Soften your jaw and eyes and breathe. Look to the hands, step or jump forward. Exhale, release the backside. Inhale to the sky. 
bring down the arms. Sun salutation B, we'll just keep moving. Sit down in a squat. Stay here for a moment. Sitting down, reaching up. Try and lift up your heels. And lower back down the heels. Weight on the middle of your foot. Exhale, fold forward. Reach your spine forward. Jump back to a plank. Four step. And lower yourself down slowly. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Now we'll add on the lunges. Lift your right leg as high as you can behind you. Step forward, get onto those fingertips so you can get that foot as far forward as possible. Lift up into a lunge. And this is called Warrior One. Strengthen the back leg. The palms are facing each other and your arms can be a little bit rounded if you want. Just like this organic feeling. So sit down on your own tailbone. Soften your jaws and eyes and breathe. Drawing the shoulders away from the ears. Warrior one. Reach back the arms to the ground. Vinyasa number two. Find your plank. Find your way down to the ground. Into a back bend. Finishing in down dog. Left side. Lift your left leg up behind you. Step forward. Try and curl your leg into yourself so you can step forward. Inhale up to lunge. Find your position. Draw the left hip a little bit back. You want the feeling that your hips are pointing straight ahead. Draw in the belly. Breathe fully. Shoulders down. Soften your face. In this kind of big and expansive position. Called Warrior One. Hands to the ground. Vinyasa number three. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, downward dog. Take three deep breaths. Ground your hands, ground all your knuckles. Reach your heels to the ground. Relax your neck and face. Look to the front, step or jump forward. And exhale, release. Lift your way up into a, a squat, sitting deeply. And stand up, bring down the arms. We'll do this one more time, but then we'll do a warrior two instead. Inhale, sit in the squat. Exhale, fold forward. Reach your spine long. And step back to a plank. Vinyasa number one. And this will be the last three vinyasas we do. So it's hard work. You might be giving up, building up a sweat. Down dog. And we're going to lift the right leg as high as we can. Step forward as gracefully as possible. Just uh, try as best you can to get that step. Oh yeah, turn the back heel down. Cartwheel up your arms. And warrior two is more sideways. The whole body is turning to the left now. And you can look forward to your front hand. So you're proudly opening sideways, reaching your hands apart. So you're pushing your knee a little bit out to your right side. And you're trying to Activate your butt, so you're kind of tucking the tailbone under. And this is called warrior two. Let's cartwheel down our hands to the ground. And do vinyasa number two. So down dog. Lift up your left leg when you arrive. Step forward. Yes. Nice guys. Reach up. Ooh, and draw the back heel down. Warrior two. I'm forgetting. 
So find the position, squeeze your butt to, to push the knee out to the little toe side of your foot, opening up your hips as good as you can. Spread your arms out and notice if you're carrying extra tension around your neck. See if you can draw the shoulders down, releasing your head. Spread your hands. Filling the extremities with energy, focus. And reach to the ground. Last vinyasa for today. Doing really good guys. Lowering down, lifting up, and push back to down dog. This will also be the last down dog we do. So just take a couple extra breaths here. Notice if you can tip your hip forward. So point your sit bones more up like you're trying to arch your back, even though this increases the stretch. Relax your neck down. You can look in between the toes, grab the floor, relax the face and breathe. Look to your hands, step or jump to the front. Exhale, release. Inhale into the squat, sitting deep, chair pose, and standing up. So we'll just have time for a, a flow where we do a couple of positions. So it looks like this. Let's do the squat. And exhale, fold forward. So this is like before. Inhale, reach your spine long. And now step far back your right leg, grounding the back heel. So your back foot should be parallel to the short end of the mat. And we're going to cartwheel up our arms like before. Warrior two. Okay, so from warrior two, we're going to do a little flow. And it moves side to side. So place your right hand on your right thigh and lean kind of backwards, opening your left side. And then we're going to kind of cartwheel towards the front leg, putting the elbow on the knee, maybe re reaching the arm forward in, a, uh, in the same line as the leg. Yeah. Okay, so these two, let's go back and forth between them, inhaling back, exhaling forward. And we'll do that like three or four times. So move in your tempo, notice your breath, see if you can Find that tempo. Don't worry about me and my tempo. Listen to your own breath. And let's stay front. Grab, put that elbow on the front knee. You can put a little bit of weight in there, resting the weight of your upper body through your arm and leg reach the top arm up and you might even want to lift your gaze up to the top hand hold the position okay keep your legs strong warrior two straighten both legs and just jump your back leg a little bit front so we're shortening out the position Place your left hand on your thigh and slide down into a triangle pose where you have a triangle between your legs and you just go as deep as you can until you feel a stretch on the back of the leg, on the inside of the leg and maybe your top waistline, trying to keep your shoulders stacked. You can look straight or you can look up. Okay, very nice guys. Reach both hands to the front of the yoga mat. Step forward and exhale, release. Inhale, reach your spine long. And we'll do this to the other side. Step your left leg far back. Ground the heel, cartwheel up to warrior two. Begin the flow, inhale back. Dancing warrior. Exhale forward to side ankle pose, making a long line from foot to hand. Side to side we go. 
So you can place your attention in your hands, maybe spread out your fingers and feel the air moving through your fingers. Expanding that circle, like you want to really stretch the circumference of the circle you're drawing in the space. Next time you're to the front, you can stay in the front, find a nice stack here, opening the body sideways. So feel the stability of the legs hugging together, activating your inner thighs. Draw the top shoulder back, contracting slightly behind your shoulder blades. Relax your face. Very nice guys. Inhale to warrior two. Straighten out both legs, jump a little bit forward, shortening the distance. Slide down into Trikonasana, going as far as you can. Some of you might be able to touch the floor with your fingertips, otherwise just keep your hand on your shin. Also in this position you can have the feeling of tucking your tailbone under, lengthening your lower back. Draw the shoulder blades away from the ears. And let's reach both arms down, bend the legs so you can step forward. Exhale, fold forward. Release. Maybe take an extra breath here or two. Bend the legs, reach up into a squat, and stand. Okay, point your feet out and sit as deep as you can into a deep squat. Like this. So you can just move a bit from side to side, opening up your hips. And if you can't get the heels grounded, then it doesn't matter. Maybe just one heel at a time, spiraling like this. So this is also a great position to get to know. In the east, this is a resting position where you sit for hours waiting for the bus or playing a game. And it's also a yoga asana. So you can try and make a prayer position and squeeze your elbows in between your knees, pushing your knees slightly out and try and lift your chest a little bit and hold this position. A great hip opener. <laughs> and the pose is called Malasana and Mal is something with, uh, with shit. So it's the position where you go to the bathroom in India. Maybe some of you have been to India. Let's sit down and we'll just do a simple stretch to the front. So place your right foot on the inside of your left knee in a figure four. And then using the contraction of the front of your thigh, pull yourself forward into a, a gentle stretch on the back of your leg. And stay here breathing. Relax the back of your neck. Gently lift yourself out, switch sides. So every exhale, see if you can look for tension around the back side of your body, your calf, the back of your thigh, your lower back, your neck. See if you can really just, with a couple of sighs of release, let go of all that. Okay, lift up, place both uh, palms or yeah, palms of your feet together. If you're like me and have a wall, you can sit up against the wall. Um, and then we're just gonna, basically going to fold forward here as well. Place your arms in a comfortable way. I'm just exploring like you can put the arms in different ways, whatever helps you relax. 
as if it, if gravity is too much, this can be quite intense. Then posting with your arms can just um, can take a little bit of the edge off the stretch and maybe help you relax more. Okay, so from, from this quiet space, let's um, um, put your feet in a skala stilling, in a tailor pose, sitting like this. And if you have a wall behind you, uh, super great. So time to just uh, sit as effortlessly as possible. And we're gonna do a little meditation. And before we do something very actively with our minds. Uh, let's just place a hand on our belly. And then you want to feel that every inhale pushes your belly out. And every exhale pushes your belly in. So if you can feel your inhales expanding the abdomen, expanding your belly then it means that you're using your diaphragm, dit melmgul, in your breathing. And because the diaphragm is linked to the parasympathetic nervous system, it activates your digestion um, and different healing responses, kind of calming down your entire system. And you might be able to feel your belly move without the hands. You can rest your hands. And again, scan your body. How is your posture? Can you sit even more relaxed? You don't have to have any rigid idea of, um, of a posture you have to hold. But look for the qualitative feeling of an effortless sitting. Relaxing the shoulders. Lengthening the neck, maybe just subtly drawing your chin a little bit back to hold the head floating over the spine. You can gently try and lengthen your breath and I'll suggest to you that you try and count your breath. Um, so for example, it could be inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. And you can continue counting your breath. It doesn't have to be a count of four, but make it match your own breath with a gentle attempt to lengthen the breath. Don't lose your breath by pushing too much. Just go nice and gently. So feel how calmly and constantly you can move breath in and out of your body. So this is a counting exercise and a focusing meditation because we're concentrating on a certain object, which is the breath. Continue counting your breath and see if you can count the next 10 breaths. And even counting 10 breaths is already quite a feat of concentration. So I wish you uh, good luck in staying with your breath for 10 slow counted breaths. So you're counting with, can you make that voice loving, patient, soft? Sometimes we count with a rigid or a bit more frustrated inner voice. 
So just make sure that that's a peaceful voice you're counting with. Relaxing into concentration. Okay, letting go of the breath, transitioning to an open meditation, also typically called mindfulness. So you can relax any idea of focusing certain places in your experience and instead allow whatever arises to happen, being as awake as you can to see what's going on in your present moment awareness. And I'll just mention different areas that might expand your vision or your awareness. For example, your visual field, noticing how it's constantly changing. Looking broadly into the dark field behind your eyelids. Can you stay aware of your visual field while also taking in sounds? Everything is happening in its own place. And for right now, you're allowed to just let everything be, let everything happen. Also notice your body, the pressure between you and the floor, the feeling of your arms, your torso, spine. How do you in fact experience your body right now? There might be vibration or tingling or a sense of temperature. Okay, so thank you for joining that um, little trip, focusing and then expanding our awareness. Uh, let's just do a little short Shavasana and we'll just spend three minutes on our backs and then, um, and then finish our little yoga session here. Again, thanks for joining along that meditation.